What is up my beautiful human beings? It's your girl Cassidy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm finally coming to you guys with how I curl my short hair. I do this all with a flat iron. And this flat iron that I have is by Revlon. I really like it, you got to try it. This one's super cheap. I don't need to spend like over $100 on a flat iron just cause my, my hair texture doesn't really need like any super intensity. It's very affordable and really easy to use. It's a great flat iron. This is a pretty self-explanatory video. It's how I curl my hair. I know short hair could kind of be a struggle to curl sometimes, but this flat iron, I got you covered with it. So if you wanna see how I do it, just keep on watching the video. But before we get into it, don't forget to go down right below this video, click the like button and subscribe while you're there. It helps me out so, so much and now that you've subscribed we can just go ahead and jump right into this video all right guys so this is my hair just naturally air dried it's the front pieces dry really straight and then in the back i have like a lot of waves and texture and then there are certain areas of my hair that still have like the blonde left over when i used to be bleach blonde there's still some broken parts and there's like like just like this much of the end is like the damaged blonde hair but these hairs up here are like super silky and they're my natural like healthy hair um and then it's just like some ends that still have that blonde damage underneath so i'm still dealing with that really the only thing that i use to prep my hair as of recently is this heat protectant and this is by john frieda it's the detox and repair care and protect spray it's a heat protectant and i just like to spray it all over i don't put too much because i don't you know want my hair to be like dripping wet but it smells so good you guys it literally smells like like you just came out of the shower like it's just a really like yummy clean smell that i love after i put it in i kind of just like just press it into my hairs, you know? I just go right ahead and split my hair into half and I just section off the top layer just like you would when you're curling your hair and just kind of like messily put this aside. So then I have this bottom layer here but it's a little bit too thick so I divide that into half as well. Clip that away. And now we're ready to work with this little bottom section right here. I split it in half as best as I can. I mean, again, the hairs are super short, so it's like hard to keep them where you put them. This is the thing about curling my hair. I have realized that using a flat iron is so much easier for me than using the curling iron. The last video, the last like short hair, curly short hair video that I did, I believed I used a curling iron and it was possible but I just feel like lately my straightener has been doing such a better job and it makes it so much easier because you don't have to like try to wrap anything around a curling iron and then like hold it there so yeah the straightener has been my go-to lately so I just take this little section divide it into two and then I squeeze the hair in between and I just twist my flat iron at the root and I keep on twisting it and keep on twisting it until it just lets go of the curl. And that's what we're left with, like that. So there's like a little cute curl there. And then I do the same thing again here. Just twist and twist. And then we're left with that little curl the bottom hairs are really not that important you just want them to have a little bit of a curl to them that way it blends in with everything else if like the hairs are too short and you end up kind of like letting a few of them fall out and not getting the curl don't worry about it because they're just going to end up blending in and not really showing either way so i don't stress these bottom ones too much now i'm going to show you guys um how it's a little bit different for like the longer pieces once we get there Okay, another thing to keep in mind, when your hair is short, like when your hair is this short like mine, you have to alternate the way the curls are going. So those bottom curls, I did them going away from my face, so I'm moving my hand outwards. Now I'm clipping it this way and I'm moving my hand in towards my face. And I'm gonna just alternate each curl in that way 
I'm just gonna like twist one towards my face and then twist one away from my face and keep going in that pattern because there was one time where like I didn't alternate them and they were all going like the same way and then they just all clumped together and with short hair, it did not look cute. Just take my word for it. <laughs> so I did that previous section inwards. Now this one I'm doing outwards and I'm just twisting and twisting. For some reason, my right side is always like harder to, to see or to do for me. I don't know why it's so weird. I feel like my eyes just don't see as far this way, if that makes sense. So this one I'm doing inwards. And then the next chunk, I'm gonna curl it outwards. I know it can be a little confusing, especially if you're not used to curling your hair, but just try to remember the directions that you went in. If you moved your wrists outwards for the next one, try to move your wrist inwards. The bottom section is done. I'm gonna let those set. I'm not gonna run my fingers through it or anything. So you guys can see this is how it looks. I'm just gonna take this knot out. So just trying to grab all the pieces of hair that have not been curled. And then I split that section into two back here. I will clip that off just to make sure it's like sectioned off and not going anywhere while I work on this section. And then I do the same thing. I just grab a section from the back and then work my way forward, alternating the curls. You guys always ask me like, how do I get the hair to look so big and voluminous? That is like a huge way that my curls stay like nice and fluffy. Okay, another thing that I want you guys to notice on how I'm curling this hair. This is really important. So I go ahead and I squeeze it at the base and then I start to twist, right? But as I'm twisting, I'm letting the curl, the piece of hair pull through the flat iron but I'm keeping it at the base. So I'm not just twisting it and then moving it through the hair. I am twisting it and letting the hair move through the flat iron. And just as I keep curling it in that area, I just let the hair continue to move through it rather than doing something like this that would leave me with more of a wave. And I'll show you guys the difference. If I wanted just a flip to the hair, like to get that nice blow dry look, I would do this. I would bend it and then I would move my way through the hair. And as you can see, that just gave me like a nice flip, which is cute if I want that all over. I think it looks really nice. That gives it a beautiful blow dry look. But if I want like the curl that I'm going for, I need to do what I just showed you guys. So the huge difference is holding it in place, twisting it, and then twisting it, and just continuing to make that twist. It gets a little tough because the flat iron can kind of like hold onto the hair tight, but look at the difference. You see like it just created that curl versus what it was before when it was just a wave. So. That's the key to get the curls with a flat iron rather than just getting like a nice loop with a flat iron. So I just twist it once, twist it again, and then hold it kind of loosely so the hair can get through and just keep on twisting to get the curl. Hi, I got the little bun. So I'm at the very last section. I finished pretty much everything, like all the perimeters around my head, but I just wanted to come back and touch base with you guys on this last section here because these hairs are like involuntary bangs that I have going on here. That's just what happens when you wanna bleach your hair from super dark brown to bleach blonde. <laughs> Love that. So this is where I just part off where I want my side part to be um, without these hairs done. That way I can curl the right hairs accordingly. So I have a little bit left over on this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bend and then just follow through with that. 
I don't want to do too hard of a curl for these sections because they're so short. If I did like a super hard curl, it'll be like all the way literally like bent up over here. <laughs> so I'm a little bit softer with these top hairs since they are shorter. And then if I do too much of a curl, you can see they do like this weird thing where it just sticks out. So I try to kind of like brush that out a bit, not have them too stick, sticking out not have them sticking out too much and then with these front pieces even less of a curl so i kind of just do one twist and follow through because this is really what the bangs are so i don't want there to be these cherry curls like you know framing my face then it ends up like that. This is what I want to be like around my face. I want it to be more of a loop. So now all of the curls are done. I can just go ahead and run my fingers through everything. Just fluff it out. Have a little uh, herbal essence, just hair flipping moment. But yeah, I just love curling my hair like this. I feel so cute with it. And I feel like it's the perfect length that just gives me like this cute like faux fro kind of looking thing not really a fro at all but i just i love the volume i love the bounciness and like it's just look like a cute little puff to me so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this pretty quick and easy how to curl short hair video um yeah this is just how i do my hair all the time and i love it i feel cute and sexy and voluminous and i just I'm loving this hair. If you guys end up trying to curl your hair like this, let me know, tag me, take a picture and then tag me in it so I can see how you did. And yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe down below because you know how much it means to me from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.